Greetings, everyone. I'm Sister Pat Phillips, S.H.C.J. I want to talk about priesthood. In today's first reading from Hebrews, Paul talks about the high priesthood of Jesus. The three qualities of a priest are, first, the priest is appointed on our behalf to deal with the things of God, the link between God and humans. In Israel, the one special task of the priest was to offer sacrifice for the sins of the people. Two, the priest must be one with the people, not set apart, but one with. And three, God appoints the priest. Priesthood is a calling from God. Paul goes on to show how Christ fulfilled these qualities in the highest way, verified by God. You are my son. This day I have begotten you, and you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. So, what does this all mean for us? For one thing, our priests today fulfill these same qualities. They deal with the things of God, are one with the people, and are called by God. Most priests are wonderful in fulfilling this. We're grateful to them and pray for them that they may continue to be faithful. However, these days you may shake your head when I talk about priests. But there are some very good men who fulfill the duties of priesthood with integrity and faith. They need our support in these days as well. In another sense, we share in this priesthood. We too try to be a link between God and people. We are certainly one with the people and God calls us to share in spreading the kingdom. As an aside, no matter what gender a person is, these qualities can fit. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the high priesthood of Jesus. We thank you, too, for all the men who through the ages have served us as our priests and all those who serve us now. Bless them and give them all they need to faithfully and joyfully serve your people. Continue to call others to serve in this way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day and thank a priest today.